To get started, determine your desired rail placement, paying close attention that your positioning allows only full-size baluster slats. Snap a line onto the deck to ensure proper post alignment. Be sure sufficient mounting structure exists to receive posts and install blocking if necessary. Plumb the posts using shims and secure the posts into place. Install a trim ring onto each post. For through bolt applications, use the secondary mounting plate included with your Avalon post. To install, use a 3 8 inch drill bit using appropriate hardware to secure in place and add your trim ring. Place the bottom beam across the opening and adjust to ensure equal baluster spacing on each end. Mark the rail panel at the post face at both ends of the beam. Measure 1 quarter inch from the marks towards the center of the bottom beam and cut the top and bottom beams with the channel inside at both ends using a carbide tip blade of at least 60 teeth. Using the paper bracket mounting template included with the brackets, align the base trim with the appropriate guide on template and secure in place with tape. Pre-drill through the desired marked locations on the template using a 1 8 inch drill bit. Remove the template. Next, align the brackets onto your post with the holes, ensuring that the brackets are square, and fasten the brackets into place using the one and a half inch screws provided. Repeat this on your other post. Press the bottom bracket covers onto the ends of the bottom beam and set onto the bottom brackets, pressing them into place. Place the top beam into place on the top brackets. Pivot a support foot into place under the rail. If your section is longer than six feet, use two support feet and distribute evenly. Secure the support foot to the mounting surface using the provided one and a half inch screw and press fit the cover into place with the plastic plug. Measure the length of the beams and cut the top rails sold separately to the same length. This should match the cuts you made previously. Press the top rail end covers onto the top rail and set into place on top of the top beam. Now press down on the top rail to ensure that it fits snugly onto the top beam and that the top rail end covers are being held in place by the mounting bracket. Using the holes in the bracket as a guide, pre-drill two 1 8 inch holes from under the bottom of the rail up through the top rail. Then drive two 1 and 5 8 inch screws up through the hole, locking the bracket, panel and top rail together, being careful not to drill through the top of the top rail. Repeat this for the other side. Next, install the glass slats by adding a drop of silicone caulk into the middle of the bottom glass gasket. Slide the top glass gasket over one end of the glass slat and at a slight angle, place the top of the glass slat up into the top beam, sliding it up enough to allow the bottom of the glass slat to drop down into the bottom glass gasket. It may be helpful to loosen the screws on the top rail installed in the previous step to slide the glass slat into place. Just remember to re-tighten these screws to secure the top rail. Then, slide the top glass gasket up to fit snugly into the top beam. Repeat for remaining glass slats. Mm -hmm. 
last, install pyramid post stop onto each post. You may need to use a rubber mallet for proper fit.